what's up you guys it's me juliet the scorpion goddess and i'm here to do tarot of the week so i'm going to be breaking down what's happening during this lunar eclipse in taurus during scorpio season with what the cards have in store for us this week so it's going to be from november 7th all the way up until november 14th and I can already tell you guys before we even get into this reading that it's going to be jam-packed with a lot of heavy intense energy just because with what is going on literally with the planets it's going to impact us so let's see what the cards have to say <laughs> Hey everyone, so before we get into the reading, we're going to be pulling some Moonology cards because we're in a full total, we're in a full total Luna Eclipse, Tar, in the sign of Taurus, and um, we've been in the eclipses in the signs of Taurus and Scorpio for over a year at this point. I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but it's been over a year at this point. And um, the beginning of the eclipses were about something we felt like possibly anticipating. And now at this part of the eclipse season, time frame where we're at is we know exactly what it is that needs to be closed out. Um, I'm going to be pulling more than just tarot. I'm just being <laughs> screamed at <laughs> by my guides right now. My, my spirit guides, if you guys don't know, if you're new here, that we're also going to be pulling some celtic tree oracle cards i'm still learning how to read these specific ones um but i was being like do this um and this is probably from my ancestors since i am very irish and then <clears throat> we are going to be pulling some chakra cards as well because i was being told the same like you need to pull out these two so i was like all right so anyways, if you haven't seen your Scorpio season, pick a card reading for the Terrascopes. Definitely check that out. Here is what the video looks like with the clickbait right here. If you go in the description box down below, you can go straight to that to pick a card reading. There are three different piles to choose from. You pick intuitively whatever you feel drawn to or watch all three if you feel as so. Um, please make sure you like this video and subscribe if you have not yet and definitely share this too um share it on your facebook feed share it on your twitter account share it on whatever platform you use and you know like i said subscribe if you haven't and comment how this reading resonates once you finish it or come back at the end of the week to check in and see what predictions what messages came true for you now i'm just gonna start pulling intuitively so i'm gonna connect i don't want to see you guys gotta keep in mind i'm sick eh, as i'm doing this um <clears throat> so if i sound funny that's why we got the king of cups so we're gonna our, our power back um with our emotions we are pulling that back i feel like there's been a huge part of ourselves that we have given away given pieces away to this person this person emotionally and this is where we're finally getting this emotional intelligence of i'm no longer feeling the need to do this because you have this like realization of something you could be dealing with somebody emotionally immature um but you're not giving your power away to that person this week either i see there's a lot of intuitive downloads coming down too and i say this pretty often enough anyways with paying attention to your dreams but seriously this week pay attention to your dreams because there are so many messages that are coming in from those and just because like with the king of cups being the first card this is like you have a lot of gifted things coming your way um there's messages in your dreams that are going to resonate and make sense because it's connecting to your subconscious and we're bringing that to the forefront especially this week there's a lot of things that have always been in the subconscious and it's coming to be shown out. So there's little gems and hidden messages in those dreams that when you wake up, you're going to be like, oh, this makes sense. And it's going to be like connecting those dots where you're finally getting that perfect piece of the puzzle to fit. <clears throat> it's like things are going to be finally like clarity making sense through this chaotic week. We have the moon and the ace of wands. This is secrets 
coming out, truths coming out, you speaking your truth. I had to pause the video because I had to cough really bad. Not only am I sick, right, but this full moon is going to be ruled by Taurus. Taurus is exalted. It is an eclipse. This is major things happening. Faded change is happening. But this is because the reason why I'm talking about my throat right now is because even though I'm sick, okay, there is a deeper meaning behind this with my own personal shit that I understand. But in this moment, what I'm trying to get at is with this Ace of Wands and me having to pause the video because I had a cough because I was like, I'm dying. This is people speaking up, using their voice, being like standing, like having no fear. You're not allowing that fear to control you anymore because you realize like I'm actually in control of myself and my feelings and how I react and how I handle situations. People around you might say some wild, crazy stuff, but you're holding your own and not allowing it to affect you because you're like, I'm in this new place now. I've faced my demons. Or I am facing my demons and I'm letting my freak flag fly free. There's a lot of Fs, <laughs> but what A, B, C, D, E, F. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe there's something with the number six coming out too. If you see six, 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 this could be money. There could be a lot of you people watching this video, having more money come your way, being more abundant, like financially, finding more value in things and people seeing more of the value in you. It's funny I say that. Maybe that's something for me. I don't know. Because before I did this, I posted a little quick Instagram story video saying like, I'm feeling devalued within my work. Um, <clears throat> saying that doesn't mean I don't appreciate the people that do actually value me because I definitely see that. I, I just feel like I'm in a place right now where I don't feel as valued as I should be. And um, anyways, so maybe that was a message for me. I don't know. And look at me being all open and vulnerable and telling you guys like something that's hidden within me. Please. All right. Let's see what else is going on for you, everybody this week. The just said a six, and what did I pull? The love is con, ruled by six. I love that. So there could be some truth and stuff coming out um, within your relationships, in your marriage, your partnerships, people you are very close knit with. <clears throat> this could also be people doing sex magic under this because, I mean, hello. If you read tarot, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I see that right there. There'll be a lot of sex magic happening under this full moon. Um, I've mentioned this in a previous video of mine too, but I just see people connecting on this like soul, spiritual, deep, in, intense place and creating something new. This could be a week where people are going to be getting pregnant as well. So definitely wrap it up if you're not trying to have a baby. Um, but I also see truth coming out within partnerships. This could be um, as well with parents, maybe there are some truths coming out from within the family, from one, uh, from your parents or secrets coming out from that. And you're having this, okay, like this makes sense, connecting the dots kind of thing, but also staying true still at the same time, seeing the bigger picture, seeing this person's secret in their story come out, but still standing your own <clears throat> with your feelings. Like, um, if there were some like mistreatment, abuse or something like that is coming out, um, and you seeing it coming from that other person who treated you wrong, that's what I'm getting at, um, you'll have more understanding for them, but at the same time being like, that is like sad of what happened, but how I got like the repercussions of that doesn't make it okay. And I still stand with like where I'm at. That's another thing I'm, I'm seeing too. Um, <clears throat> I see, I see, okay. I see something with plants. Some of you are getting into learning about planting, gardening, growing your own herbs, doing some kind of like DNA connecting, like having your plants heal you and learning about that is coming out that may be a specific message to somebody. Well, some of you are making your own medicine at home 
as well, like using your own herbs and, and using that to heal yourself. There's also people doing a lot of magic, not just sex magic, like I mentioned, but actual like magic too. And there could be people doing like spell castings. There could be some stuff with like somebody trying to do something to you also. So if you have an inkling of <clears throat> that right there you definitely in the oh, okay if you have an inkling of what that could be you need to protect yourself but you need to realize that you have free will that's what i'm hearing with this you have free will there's a lot of chaos happening right now and i see an overwhelming of like stress um this could be escapism too <clears throat> but you have free will and I see the demons, your own inner demons coming out. Again, with this, your own in, inner demons coming out and releasing them. You have the choice to either release them or, or hold on to them. Another thing is like, you have, when I was just talking about the options, you have two options. You could either go this way or that way. I see too that maybe there's something of somebody who you felt was loyal to you. And their true colors of being a snake are actually coming out right now. And they were using you. I see some people are using you as their own gain. This could be in some dark magic stuff that I'm picking up on. There could be somebody in your corner that <clears throat> you thought was really your friend or somebody who actually cared about you. But really, they had ulterior motives and they've been using you and your energy to like basically it's kind of like an energy vampire in a way. But with some dark magic and a twist in that. So definitely <clears throat> you need to protect yourself this week. You need to protect yourself. Using fire um, for a protection spell is going to be really beneficial. And um, maybe even doing something with like under the fire. Like eating a piece of fruit and then throwing another piece of fruit into the fire. And doing some kind of magic within that itself. <clears throat> if you practice magic and you're a witch you'll know what i'm talking about if not leave it be <sighs> all right what else is happening the fool it's literally a reset and if you have been paying attention all of these just like last week uh the major cards major arcana except for <clears throat> these two right here this is the personality and uh a want but these are all big cards regardless and um it's like we're having all of these things come through to the forefront we're having our truths come out we're seeing people's true colors come out we're seeing people's real personalities come out and in the same time we are coming out of being more authentically ourselves we're being more open we're being more vulnerable we're realizing we have free will but there are certain things um that need to be protected so maybe opening up about your true feelings is good but speaking on your feelings and using the facts behind that is what's going to be needed to be done <clears throat> Um, and this way when doing that, it's like you're carrying less baggage with you because you're more focused on like where you're heading and your future is at without having that heavy weight. I feel like the, <laughs> during this week, there's going to be like a lot of weight, like being like, oh my God, there's so much happening. This is so stressful. This is really intense. There's a lot of stuff happening, but towards the end of the week, we're going to be having this like oh this feels so like i feel so much like i've lifted a weight off of my shoulders i feel more free i feel more open i feel more true and authentically myself i feel like a lot of us may have gotten lost in the sauce within other relationships other people other people's expectations where we lost ourselves and it's like three 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 is what i just saw so seeing threes is gonna be another thing for this week i said sixes and threes so, and this is about communities. Finding your soul tribe is going to be really big. There's a lot of people in a lot of relationships that we are cutting, deading, and being done with. Scorpio season, eclipse energy this week. To make room for ourselves authentically. And by that, 
we're attracting the right people to come our way for this new beginning, this new version of ourselves. I want to pull Moonology card, and then I'm going to get into these other sets that I said I had. Okay, no, I'm not. All right. We're going to actually pull a Celtic tree oracle card. I have the book that goes with it, but we'll see. Maybe I'll look at it. Maybe I won't. It'll be a surprise for both of us. I don't know. Or all of us, however many people are watching me. Anyways, all right. So I want to know with this eclipse energy for this week for the collective, what is a message we can take on? We have the honeysuckle tree right here. Now, I think I'm going to read to see what this means, but I think this has to do with, like, community, children, and, like, calling back the sweetness to yourself. And I think this has to do with, like, when we are speaking our truth, speaking it with love for ourselves. So it says... Um, you will be enabled to distinguish what is false from which is of real worth and usefulness on your spiritual journey. So finding your way to its center. The honeysuckle will help you tread safely, remaining true to your beliefs and principles with sureness and lightness in your step. The card will also help you guide yourself and ignore distractions until you reach the point of flight where the first house secrets uh, of the soul lie waiting. Wow. So a lot of the tarot cards I was pulling definitely like connected with this one right here. I love when everything is just like connected and making sense. I love when that happens. Just like when I was like, oh, the number six. And then I pulled the lovers card, which is ruled by the number six. Um, but let's see. I was also told to pull chakra cards so we're gonna see what chakras do we need to focus on this week and you know what maybe i'll read from this book too <laughs> so all right got the uh solar plexus here we have determination number 16 and this full moon lunar eclipse is going to be at 16 degrees in taurus so determination Fighting for yourself, fighting for your truth, going with the confidence and not backing down. Going for what is yours. I still want to read to see what it has to say in the book. So, this says, you have called this card into your awareness today as a reminder of the power and importance of determination. This powerful energy is calling you to align with it as you bring out the determination that lies within you. Everything at some point requires that extra, extra energy to push it to the next stage of creation. Determination will be the keys to amplifying your desired outcome at this time. You may have been working hard on a certain project and have come to a standstill. You may have doubts and negative thoughts may be overshadowing your dreams. It is natural to have doubts. However, pulling this card what the hell is it? <clears throat> Pulling this card is a sign that it's time to get focused and determined. Nothing in this world can take this dream from you. Allow the fire in your belly to rise as you bring forth the energy required to move to the next stage in your manifestation. It's time to be focused and clear on your outcome. What is it that you would like to create? What are your desires? Scorpio season, I desire. You are the only one to make this happen, and it's important to keep your eye on the goal. Don't let it go. Do what needs to be done to make it happen. When you feel like the odds are against you and you want to give up, know that you have the determination to succeed. This powerful energy lives inside you and is ready and waiting for you to surrender to its calling. So again, this is like doing the work internally and then allowing the right stuff to come to you. 
Call forth the power of determination once again, bring you into alignment with your dreams and desires. It's truly amazing what you can achieve when you put your mind to something and apply determination. This is a great trait of a champion athlete. It's time for you to be a champion and go for what you desire. And then the affirmation. We don't usually do affirmations on this channel. Every once in a blue moon we do. And um, I think because this uh, full moon, lunar eclipses in Taurus ruled by the throat, affirmations will be important. So if you guys want to write this down and repeat this to yourself throughout the day, every day for this week, pause the video. All right. It says, I am an unstoppable being of love and determination. And I'll put it right here so you guys can see it. Right. Now, with that being said, we're going to pull a monology card, you guys. Oh, my God. Yep. So, we're going to see with this lunar eclipse... Total, total Luna Eclipse and Taurus. We're going to see what's a message that everybody, whoa, everybody can, can take on. Keep thinking I'm going to get it and it doesn't come out. All right. A time for healing, balsamic moon. So this is a huge time for healing. This is a major healing time, right? This is a huge, major healing time. I think a lot of us are anticipating something is going to happen because we can feel it. And the fact that Uranus, which is about surprise and progression, uh, is going to be conjunct with this full moon total lunar eclipse. It's like we're expecting the unexpected to happen. We can feel the buildup and the anticipation. And then throughout the week, it's how can we heal from this, like our wounds, our inner wounds traumas secrets are coming up and we're facing that because it's time to heal and i mean hello scorpio season it's like death but not just with death comes a rebirth and that's what this eclipse is about and then finding the beauty in that because taurus is always about finding the beauty in things and bringing a value of that so this was tarot of the week and if you guys made it this far, comment a Taurus and a full moon emoji. And drop in a Scorpio in there too, just because it's Scorpio season. I'm a Scorpio. Pluto dominant. So it's like, I'm obsessed with being a Scorpio. So Taurus, full moon emoji, and throw in a Scorpio in there for fun. Or don't, whatever. But anyways, comment and let me know how this reading resonated and remember we're trying to build a community or we are building a community within scorpion goddess so share what's going on with you and see if other people want to you know come and comment too because it really helps all right i'll see you guys next week 